Hello and welcome to another Nimble video tutorial. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you a little, um, some really cool stuff. Some enhancements that I've made to toolbars and um, how I prototyped a database management engine for Postgres. So I'll start with toolbars. Toolbars is a feature that's based off the Nimble menu systems. Um, it's been in the product for since the beginning since the inception but I have very done I don't think any videos are very lightly touched it touched on the um, idea in any of the videos basically a two bar is just a series of icon strips that would go along the top edge of your dialogue and it's a menu system you click on it and then it has a reaction um, menu systems as you know well know are also along the top edge and they have drop downs for items to click. Functionally they work the same they just um, have a different display. The toolbar editor for the prototype I'm going to show you is for a database management app. Um, I've been doing a lot of playing around with Postgres. I have a Postgres server that I've stood up playing with SQL, um, getting reacquainted with the SQL language because I hadn't been a database administrator in quite some time um, but I, I, I thoroughly understand SQL and this allowed me to build the, the uh, all the icons that I'm going to use within my menu strip and then within the, the sample app I can change the state of the toolbar and get various displays and I'm going to demonstrate all that for you some of the enhancements I've done over this holiday um, break were to include a lot more functionality and customizing for the toolbar, setting the back color, um, font color, uh, border radius, and just general things to allow um, you to have more control over your toolbar. So I'm going to show you the, f the sample prototype that I've made, and I hope you like it. I'll refresh this guy. It's already pre-built. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than I expected it to be. I've added a lot more to the final this final view that you're seeing now. So basically, you start with a simple um, dialog. You have a login button. It's in the login state. Of course, a project tree, tab control for your SQL commands, and this is where I'm using the dynamic slick grid. We're going to log in. Of course, we go right into the, we're triggering the login factory that's attached to the project. Once we log in, the state of the application knows that you've logged in. You can now create a database or open a database. Um, this is all mocked. There's no backend database running right now. This is just a prototype for the UI, but it'll show you how easily and how seamlessly things work. So we assume we open the database, you get your your project tree to show you any databases, tables, and queries that are available. We're going to create a table. Slick Grid dynamically pushes in the create table methods, and now we can just let's make a quick table. Let's say we do. Oops, sorry about that. Simple table. And we'll make this the primary key. That's not null. Let's do an ID here. So now we have a pretty generic layout for a, uh, a simple table that takes the first name, last name, your age, social security number, and keeps an ID that will auto increment. Beauty, this was, you know, of course done in a matter of minutes. Now we can preview. And what it does is it generates your, your create statement that will be then submitted to your um, 
back in Postgres database or basically any database that supports SQL um, with the run command. The cool part about um, this design, this was laid out in, oh geez, less than an hour. Um, connected all the back end, I mean, I've connected all the factories to make these components interrelate and talk to each other as necessary. Um, and manage the state of your toolbar by clicking on, you know, as you click on various buttons in the toolbar, it changes the state. We're currently in the create table state, but if I cancel, it goes back to the database state and then so on. You can um, close the database, everything disables. And if you were to build a new database, you start seeing your Postgres protocol server database name. And then you can, of course, preview it to see the create SQL command that would be run on your Postgres server. Just a database management ID or, you know, manager tool that I created and prototyped um, as I was playing around with all of these very complex components, the grid, the tab control, tree view, and the toolbar to see how they would um, interact with each other in this type of format. Really enables desktop applications to uh, be converted to JavaScript easily. That's all I got. The Nimble Solution version 5, 2021. I won't stop. Thank you for watching.